dementia researcher with a blog and a rating. Last week, I had three separate conversations with people who find themselves in a situation where they need to make new friends. One was a teenager starting a new school, another is a senior researcher in a new country starting a new fellowship, and another was a PhD student who will be spending their first day in the lab this week. This got me to thinking. Starting fresh in a new workplace, lab, research group, or even in a new country can be exciting yet daunting. For many of us in academia or research, moving to a new environment is a frequent part of the job. Whether it's a postdoc in a new country or a project in a different lab, the need to build new social networks arise regularly. But making new friends as an adult can be tricky. So how can you find common ground, break the ice, and form genuine connections when everyone seems so busy with their own lives? Drawing inspiration from strategies that work, let's explore some effective ways to foster friendships in your new environment. Some of this will seem obvious, but hopefully it's a good reminder. Number one, start small, smile, and say hello. It might sound simple, but a smile and a friendly greeting go a long way. When you're new to a place, people notice. A warm smile or a simple hello can open the door to further conversations. Don't underestimate the power of small gestures. They often lead to more significant interactions. In a new lab or group, start by introducing yourself to those you encounter daily. Ask about their work, share a bit about your own background and show genuine interest in what they have to say. These small conversations can gradually build familiarity and comfort, laying the ground for deeper connections. Second, show up and participate. One of the best ways to make new friends is by showing up. Attending team meetings, social events and informal gatherings, even if you feel a little bit out of place initially. These are prime opportunities to meet people and learn more about group dynamics. If you're working in a research lab or joining a new place, participate in any after-hours activities or group outings. It's often in these relaxed settings that you'll get to know your colleagues beyond their professional roles. Don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone sometimes. Showing up is half the battle. Number three, be curious and ask questions. Curiosity is a fantastic tool for making friends. Asking questions not only shows you're interested in others, but also gives you a chance to share their stories. People love talking about their experiences, and by asking thoughtful questions, you create a space for genuine dialogue. In a research environment, you could start by discussing shared interests or asking for advice on navigating the new lab or workspace culture. Questions like, how did you find working on this project? Or do you have any tips for a newcomer can spark meaningful connections that go beyond small talk. Number four, leverage common interests. Shared interests are a natural foundation for friendship. If you learn that someone enjoys the same hobby or has a similar passion outside work, use it as a stepping stone to build a connection. Whether it's a love for running, a uh, cooking or a fascination with particular research topic, common interests create a bond that can lead to lasting friendships. Don't hesitate to suggest an activity or outing related to these interests. For example, if you both enjoy hiking, propose a weekend hike. If you both love craft beer, go to the pub. If you discover the colleague shares your interests in a specific research area, suggest a coffee and a chat to discuss it further. These shared experiences can help deepen your connection and make you feel more at home. Number five, be patient and open-minded. Building friendships takes time, especially as an adult in a new environment. Be patient with yourself and others. Not every interaction will lead to a lasting friendship, and that's okay. Keep an open mind and remain open to different types of friendships. Some may be more professional, while others may become personal over time. In a new country, cultural differences can also play a role in how a friendship forms. Be respectful and open-minded about these differences and try to learn from them. 
This attitude not only helps in making friends, but it also enriches your experience in that new environment. Number six, follow up and keep in touch. After meeting someone new, follow up with them. It could be as simple as sending an email to continue a conversation or inviting them to lunch. Keeping in touch shows that you value that connection and you're interested in building a friendship. In professional settings, these follow-ups are crucial as they demonstrate your willingness to be an active part of the community. Remember, building a social network in a new place takes time and effort. The more you engage, the more opportunities you can create to meet like-minded people and form meaningful connections. Number eight, if you're an introvert, create one-to-one opportunities. If you find large group settings overwhelming, focus on building connections one-on-one. Introverts often thrive in deeper, more personal interactions than in big social gatherings. So invite a colleague for a coffee, suggest a quiet lunch spot, or propose a casual walk up around the campus or neighbourhood. These more intimate settings allow you to have a meaningful connection without the pressure of navigating a crowd. And by focusing on smaller, more manageable social interactions, you can gradually build up a close circle of friends in your new environment at a pace that feels comfortable for you. And if you're shy about making the first move, look for a structured activity where interactions happen more naturally. Workshops, team building exercises, study groups or regular lab meetings often provide opportunities to interact with others without the pressure of initiating a conversation from scratch. Finally, number seven, embrace the awkwardness. Yes, embrace the awkwardness that sometimes comes with making new friends. It's normal to feel a bit uncomfortable or out of place at first. Remember that everyone has been the new person at some point. Most people are understanding and welcoming when they see someone making an effort to connect. Being yourself, with all your quirks and uniqueness, is often the best way to find friends who appreciate you for who you are. Moving to a new place, whether it's a different workplace, lab, research group or country, presents a fantastic opportunity to make new friends. Being proactive, open-minded, patient You can navigate these new environments with confidence and build lasting friendships along the way. So next time you find yourself in a new setting, remember these tips and take that first step. You never know where they might lead. And remember, there's always one place where you'll find a friend and someone to talk with. The New Dementia Researcher Community app. Thank you for listening. Join the Dementia Research bloggers and share your own views.